it's, it's on the way still, man. She she cooling right now. She's still yeah. in there. She just she big. She kicking a lot. Her hey, head, do any, do any of your weird family members go? Is they marinating? <laughs> my grandma did that. Is that a grandma, thing? Like when my auntie, I I hope it's not. They want to say it is. I don't think it is. She was just What's, like. Oh, I see. She's still in there marinating, huh? She was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago. Oh, she, she say that. I was nah. like, I'm sorry, marinate. What? Explain what you talking about? She she marinate. Uh-huh. You know when you it's put a bun in the oven, it's in there cooking. So. Don't be acting like you just threw a bun in there, popped out, and it was magically delicious, little nigga. <laughs> you gotta let some of that shit marinate. I'm like, she's like, you hungry? Not no more. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I am lying. I am definitely I'm lying. <laughs> hey, I was like, I'm definitely hungry. But yes, welcome to Pharaoh's Vault. This is the show where I take my movie collection and I present a couple of movie titles to some of my great friends here, like I have with uh, Herman, Deezy, and Alex. Thank you so much for being here. And so the way that this show goes is I'll present the movie. If y'all all have seen the movie, we will reminisce about it, talk about the good, the bad, and just the should have been made, whatever we kind of get into. But if you haven't seen it, I will have to pitch it to you as if you were a movie studio and you are, and I'm trying to get you to green light this movie. And based off of my, uh, my pitch, you will decide whether or not you will watch this movie or not. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the first movie. Now, I'm not sure if yeah, I, I'm not sure actually if anyone's seen this. I'll be I'll be finding weird stuff to watch that I like, and I'll be like, I will buy this on DVD for four dollars. I keep it. Does anybody remember Troop Beverly Hills? No. It for sure came out in the 80s. Yeah. This a new movie? It is not a new movie. You 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 see that cover. This is a new movie. (laughs) (laughs) You see that goddamn cover. You know that ain't no new movie. This what you offer, Will? Hey look, man. This came out in 1989. I was this is this was a hot like WB UPN two it's like this was WGN at one PM when you ain't had nothing to do and you was on punishment, you watched this movie. But since y'all ain't seen, <laughs> let me pitch it to you. So uh, we got Sh- Miss Shelly Long. Shelly Long, as you can see in the front, she was a phenomenal uh, actress in the eighties and nineties, done a whole bunch of stuff. But you know, um, in, in her in her era and realm. So. In this particular film, she is a Beverly Hills housewife. Don't, you know, the typical housewife, not really doing nothing, living off of riches, you know what I'm saying? Spending her husband money back and forth like it ain't nothing. She got a daughter. She got her daughter doing like all the private school things and stuff like that. And then one of those things is also being a Girl Scout. So um, come to find out her and her husband are getting a divorce. Y'all remember that show, Coach? I do remember Coach. So mm-hmm. Coach is her husband in this movie. And he is breaking off his secretary's back. He is breaking his <laughs> back off in the guest house. Just in the guest house? In the guest house. She that already that? they separate. They already it's already established. Even the daughter know that oh. they getting separated. It was like, yo, I already I already know what's going on. So I ain't really, you know, I ain't tripping, but she tripping because she like, I don't want to get divorced. And so he basically tell her, he was like, yo, what are you going to do with your life? Because they get into an argument, you know, she trying to be like little snide comments. He was like, yo, once I'm gone, though, like, what are you going to do? Like, you've <laughs> never finished nothing. You never, you've never tried to stop and achieve something. The only thing you've done well <laughs> is, spend, is spend my money. So she was like, you know what? I could go get a job. I could do a startup company. I could be able to start a fashion line and perfume. Not her. I am going to make my daughter's Girl Scout troop the number one troop in the district of California. 
And so she starts Troop Beverly Hills. She gets all the misfits in Beverly Hills. Some of them are like director's daughters, like patent creators. So it's like a whole slew of characters in this Troop Beverly Hills. And so what they're doing is the top cookie drive. So it's like, yo, they're gonna do a cookie drive and then this little tournament, at, uh, this little uh, tournament triathlon at camp to end and celebrate on who's gonna be the final three uh, groups out of California. And so of course, everybody just like, this woman ain't gonna do nothing. All she worried about is fashion. She don't be worried about shit. She customized all the girls' uniforms to look like Christian Dior, Gucci, Burberry type stuff. So they was looking there fabulous and whatnot. They start slanging the cookies. Y'all know how them Girl Scouts be doing. They be out here moving stuff like cartels, just moving that cookie weight. So was Troop Beverly Hills. There was sabotage involved. The other little troops trying to mess their stuff up because they don't take her seriously. They didn't try to break her spirit and whatnot. But she was like, you know what? I'm going to keep going. She's very, she's a very brittle spirit, but her daughter isn't. So she keeps her kind of uplifted. So you see there, there's that mother daughter tendency. Then it leads on to the obstacle course. Now you would think being on the obstacle course, something bad is going to happen. Of course, they do the first set, first round and make it through, huh? I can already tell you, I'm not going to watch this movie. I'm blanking out right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep blanking out right now. <laughs> what is happening? I'm not <laughs> watching this. <laughs> sorry, Will. I'm sorry, man. Sorry. Here, let me get to the best part. Wait. <laughs> I just know it's going to end the way you want it to end. It's going to be like, ha, in your face. Mm. <laughs> so y'all not so y'all not rocking with this man? No, go ahead, 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 go ahead. No, 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 no. You are allowed to No. I'm not watching. This is a hard pass. I just <laughs> so this, this is a hard this is I might put it on in the background. Three just so this three the hard way. Y'all not y'all not gonna give Shelly Long no. her just do, man. Craig T. Long. Nelson, you not gonna Go see a young Craig T. Nelson. Still got the part back here. It's ill all the way here. Uh, I'm tired of watching white rich people be white and rich. (laughs) (laughs) That's exactly what this movie is, too. Oh, hell no. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, trust me. She, she, She has no type of, like, diversity that she has to face. Like, if she chose not to do this, she would have still been absolutely fine. Right. Yeah. Like she's literally getting she happy. Like, yeah. She's because did she still get divorced? Yeah, she, she still got like, divorced. I mean, well, you know, he right. started kind of feeling her because you know she got some drive now. You know. Yeah, she got her confidence. She was out here. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. now he looking at her again. Like, all right, I might tag you in your little uh, Girl <laughs> Scout troop outfit. You know what I'm saying? Come on to the guest house. Come to the guest uh, house. Come to the guest house. But all right, so we'll, we'll move on. We'll move on then to the next film, man. I get it. It's a no three ways around. I understand the movie not getting greenlit. All right, so I'm going to move on to another one, man. And if y'all, if you don't, you don't know this or if you don't green like this, you don't like black women. Oh, that's how you uh, going to do us? You don't, you don't like black women. Oh, come on now. I've seen that shit. Yeah. I feel like I've seen this. I don't know. Does she work for the Knicks? Nah. Is that the one? Is that the one? I see? Nah, I know which one you talking about. That ain't it. <laughs> was, that on, was, that on, was that on the Disney Channel? Nah, that was no. Nah, that was like in a in a line of movies she did that were all kind of seemed like the same. This one is one of those two. Like the one you think about, they really pushed that one. They didn't push this one. Oh man, you got you got a picture to me. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> I, look, I, listen. I feel bad for not seeing it because you said you like. Right, listen, then again, I, I don't know. Should I feel bad? I, no, I'm positive y'all will go watch this now just because you older, so you'll get the references they throw. So pretty much, bro, she work on Wall Street, uh-huh. but of course, like she's a woman and she's a black woman, so like she is working in like like think of Wolf of Wall Street, but they the older cats, they the old creepy looking niggas. They not young and vibrant and stuff like that. And so you got her fucking basically they be thinking that's what she should do. And to her, she just like, yo, man, I just really want 
people, if you're going to move me up, move me up because of my work. Same right. thing with the secretary. And so um, pretty much they were like, yo, it's never going to happen. And so she was like, you know what? She left, her, she left the firm that she was with and her secretary left with her. And so she was like, yo, why don't we just try to open up our own type of uh, stocking firm? And so she was like, yeah, but they're not going to let us be the person. So they make up this old ass white man to be the face of this company. And due to the fact that she's super intelligent and has dope ideas for the stock market that they didn't listen to, she starts bringing in clients and starts taking clients because of the moniker that she has. The only problem is at first it starts off as, you know, like emails, nobody knows who he is. He's this mystery person and stuff like that. And so nobody really figures it out. And then now, but they're kind of demanding to see him. They're kind of demanding, they're like, well, who is this guy making all these things? And so she's even like first, like kind of like his proxy, but then they're like, yo, I will not do a meeting with the person I have never met. Either he meets me up here in the next 15 minutes or it's going to be nothing at all. So then she gets, she gets the prosthetic she needs and she becomes, she creates him. She becomes this white man, got the little white uh, gloves. She's oh, old. she did white face? Yeah, she put on an old white mask and it's literally her. With, she's playing an old white man. Oh, I missed this part. Literally, I, the I, funniest I, thing yeah. is when they go to the bathroom and the dude that she used to work with is like a kiss ass. And so they want him to merge with her old job so they can get those clients back. And so he's, of course, a kiss ass. So he's continuing to follow her who's dressed up as a dude yeah. and so he goes into the bathroom thinking he's gonna be safe but again she ain't got no penis so she steals one of the uh mouthwashes off of the counter and then just starts pushing just opens it so it looks like she's peeing because he comes up and kicks tries to talk to her and then he starts looking over and he see it just right but uh and so she got to get into that then there's a time where the office hole is sent to her uh sent to the dude hotel and so she tried to sleep with him and stuff but basically it's, it started turning to this thing where it's more about him and then they start making up stories about him in the press like the two of them are dating all this stuff even to the point to where she kills him off like they fake the his death. no 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 uh whoopi goldberg and the assistant they fake his death so then that way they could get rid of him and then that way it's more about the company and not just him. All to find out they think she killed him. And then they start messing with her. Yeah, then but then they find out, then old boy the kiss ass find out that he's fake, he's not real. So then they start lying about, yo, he's fine. They found him, he was actually on a boat, he had tipped over. So they start running off with the whole thing and start using his assets for what he got until one day, until this big ass meeting, she pops up dressed like him and they're just like, oh my God, we can't believe it, you're alive. Cause he's accepting this award they're giving him. Man, she would start thanking all of them and then she kissed the old boy on the mouth who was kissing ass and then everybody like, and she in this like men's only club to accept the award. So ain't no women allowed. And they all, they're just like, and they got this old white dying ass nigga with the mask on, he just. <coughs> <coughs> when they see them kiss, man, she start taking them gloves off. And she, you see them old luscious, smooth black hands. She start taking off the jacket. She took off the mask. And everybody just shocked it was her. She took that award, raised it up, and walked the fuck out. And then the office hoe quits, joins them. Several other people quit, join her firm, along with all the business that she helped that company get because they realized it was her with all the bright ideas and not them. And right. that is the associate. Oh. How was the, how was the, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it was straight. Like, nigga, she, she came. Really weird. Pull, yeah, like you knew, like when she pulled it, it was like, oh, boy, I stood and applauded. Even, even the dudes that were waiters, and of course they had to be black, when they walked out, everybody was dead silent. It was the waiters that started clapping. They was like, oh, that's so funny. yeah, because then nobody clapped for it. They was like, nah, yo, you did that. Because everybody understood why she did it. Mm -hmm. This really? need to be remade. I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, I need to go watch that, man. Yeah, this should get remade, and then, but it should be a woman in the film industry. 
not being taken seriously. Then she dress up as an old Arab man that got a whole bunch of money, and then this is stuff he want to see. Why, why, why Arab? <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. Like, some, for some reason, when they got like, you don't turn, you don't turn an Arab with money down. Like, you ain't never just like, like they be having everything. Like, when they got money, they got money. They be like with tigers in their cars. One of them had like a baby giraffe. I don't even know where you get a a, a, a baby giraffe from. Like, I, seen, I seen people with full giraffes. I ain't never seen nobody with a baby giraffe. You gotta feed a giraffe. That's my whole thing. <laughs> it's like you gotta be getting paper, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't just get it off the floor. Get it. Get it get it. All right, so we got one more movie, but before we do, are we are we all in agreement that this movie is getting watched? Yeah, watch definitely. It. Definitely gonna watch that. Definitely. I don't know. You don't like black women with no eyebrows and locks. That's what that's what you're doing right Is now. Is that what you Whoopi got no eyebrows? Is yeah, Whoopi, if you watch all the Whoopi Goldberg stuff, she has no eyebrows. Oh, I love Whoopi Goldberg and Ghosts. Ghosts? That's that's all you gonna give Whoopi. I just said I love her in that. I love her in Sister Act. One, two, all the way up to seventeen. I like Man. her in all that shit. Man, look, so Whoopi Goldberg is the Denzel Washington of female actresses. She Say is. That one word. Whoopi she Goldberg. Is, yeah, she played the same person in different situations. Go- no, I don't know if it's Whoopi Goldberg, my dude. So Whoop, like, like Whoopi Goldberg. First, she had Jumping Jack Flash. She had Sister wow. Act. She had The Associate. She also had the one that had Will Smith. Will Smith's first movie. The Robin the, Williams. He was doing the same shit over and over, just pretending to be different people in the same situation. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's very true. Why we be giving him a pass? Like, we gave him a pass for Mrs. Doubtfire, but we just shit on Juana Man. And Juana Man was a good movie. Y'all can say what the fuck y'all want. Two months ago. It was a dark time in the lockdown, but I watched it like two months ago. I was like, yeah. Hey, no cap. Yeah, when it came on, uh, when it came on Netflix. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm, sick of, I'm sick of the Joanna scandal, uh, uh, slander, and I'm sick of people not giving Vivica A. Fox her just do. That I woman love, is love amazing. Her. Look, I look. All I know, is I need to hear Vivica Fox's name a lot more than I than I have been hearing. All right, y'all gonna people gonna put respect on Vivica A. Fox's name. All right, she been working and she been out here looking good while she do it. Being struck, she whooped a white woman's ass on Kill Bill, and then nobody say shit. Everybody just bypassed that scene. She was putting hands to her. Now, granted, she just came out of coma, but gave her hands, made her kids some cereal, and and died being a mama. Don't know about man. Look for sure, she held it down. You right? Yeah. So we're gonna get to our last movie because I know you know I don't be wanting to keep everybody because y'all be out here busy as heck. So I got one more movie. This a little. This a weird one. This a weird one. And if I just had to spin the wheel, I'm going to point to Alex watching this movie. Out of all y'all. Come on. My shit. Yeah. Who the I, shit? Herm, you, you are a hot second. I ain't going to lie. You are a hot second in me thinking. I was like, I figured Herm didn't see this. Shit. Come on now, dog. These books were amazing. The foreign films were amazing. These, oh, these were all right. Did but... you see the second one? Yes. Yes. That's old. Yeah, that shit was cool. Yeah. So I take it you ain't seen this, Deez? Yeah, I was like, he's silent. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, nah. <laughs> Deezy, let me tell you, let me tell you. It's a whirlwind of trickery, hosiery, and mystery going on in this movie here, man. So let mm. me talk about it. James Bond. James Bond is a journalist that wrote a story that literally got him screwed over and is probably going to lose his job and he is fucking the uh, editor of where he works, but she married. So he the hoe. So just, just to put that in, she, he the hoe. Yeah. And he know that she, but so there you go. 
And so then he's hired by this old ass dude and he got to go out to like this island that they own. So, you know, they own like the whole island and all of their family stay on that island. And so he just really want to know um, why he was brought out there. And so what he's trying to figure out is come to find out this, this white dude's uh, granddaughter has been missing for like over 30 something years. And so one gift that he always got from her before he disappeared, before she disappeared, was always a drawing of a flower that he she would give to him. The, and grand, she, the granddaughter. Yeah. Now he would always get a, a, a some symbol before she disappeared. Well, no, 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 a gift for his birthday. She would draw a rose or like a flower or something. She would sketch it out for him. She was doing this before she disappeared. But what happens is he's continued to keep getting them on his birthday so he feels like the killer is mocking him because he keeps sending pictures so he wants to try to have this figured out as to what's going on and so he thinks daniel craig is the only one that's going to be able to do it and so now comes Wait, james bond or daniel craig what's going on well they the same person daniel craig? Oh. daniel craig is the uh-huh. dude who plays james bond i'm so sorry that's who daniel craig is that is daniel craig got you yeah yeah that's daniel craig right there that's, right, that's you gotta keep me a character man you i'm sorry me. james bond you well you know i'm, pit, I'm, I'm pitching i'm, I'm, pit, I'm pitching right. my fault so james bond uh gets partnered up with this girl as you see in the cover she's like a hacker but she like on her stuff she knows stuff about him just from doing research before she started to have to work with him that he didn't even know nobody knew. So she one of those. Now I'm I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw it out here now. It 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 get a little weird. All right. So she a little bit she a little bit loose in the head. So they made her like a ward of the state. So she gotta like kinda like got like a parole officer uh that you know pretty much kinda like helps her do everyday life so like basically like prime example is she gets an allowance for her own money that she gets from her job so she doesn't have control over her finances or anything like that she has to go to somebody in order to do that um pretty much he start making her suck him off for her own money in order for her to get an advance on her own money her her parole person that's helping her through everyday life decides that he needs some head now and oh, so exactly. yeah exactly. so you and so you think he would stop there she was like so she uh dude attempts to rob her and um she fucked him up he tried to rob her like in a, a subway car and this is in like london and germany wherever the fuck they was at and so she fucked him up but the laptop broke so she had to go get some more money her own money to buy a new laptop so um she goes to the dude's house because it was late at night and she needed to get it for the next day um you know, you would think some head is, is going to happen again. And uh, he rapes her and fucks on the ass repeatedly. Huh? And then gave her a check for his money, for her money. Wait, wait, wait. So James Bond did this? No, 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 no. James Bond is a, a, a journalist. He she ain't, went back. No, no. She went back. There's another dude that's like her parole officer. Just call him like a parole officer. He fucks her and then gives her her own money. He ain't supposed to be doing that. He's clearly a creep. Oh, he was doing that to her. Yeah. And he so made that, her give him money before he paid her. Yeah. And so it went too far, and then that's what happened. And then, you know, again, gave her money for a laptop. But, sir, I don't want you to feel too bad. Because I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna let you know, she is a bad motherfucker. All right? So she come back again and she tases nigga and he passed out. Bro, he passed out. Passed out on the ground. Bro, she takes a, a, a probably like a, a rounded silver peg about this long and took a mallet and shoved that shit up his ass with him tied to a bed but not just that she was like you know this is what she told him she was like at first i thought it was gonna be a blow job but i didn't realize how sick you were that was my fault and she filmed him raping her he she filmed it she knew something was gonna happen she thought it was gonna be head but he wound up raping her and she got it on video and so not only did she do that and peg him she tied him up and then tattooed 
rapists over his chest. And she, you know, she was like, this is my first time doing this, so you might want to stand still. And then when she got up, she said, if, if you get the tattoo removed, I'll release the video. He said, she said, if you, if I, if I'm gonna keep, I have your ID, so I know where you stay. If I see any woman brought up into this apartment at any time, I don't even care if it's your family member, this video will get released. If something is to happen to me, or for some reason I am killed, this video will be released. You sick fuck. And also had herself emancipated, so now she had full control of her life after that. Then she meet James Bond, and then they go over to handle this dude that uh, granddaughter been missing. They Germans, it got like a lot of Nazis. It's something to do with steel. But come to find out, the dude's brother's son is a sick fuck. This nigga been, this nigga, like, here's how sick this motherfucker is. James Bond went up there one day. He got like, he also stay on the island, but he run the company now. He like the real smart nigga. So he run the company that they started on this island. And so Ooh, they the go nephew? up to his house. Huh? The nephew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He runs the whole company now. That's how they got rich. And so he got a nice little modern house and they was up there and they was up there. It was him. It was his chick. Then James Bond was up there. He even brought up the chick that he was cheating on who got the husband. They all up in there sharing wine and stuff. And then all of a sudden, if you listen until you hear a, you think it's when, and it's not. This nigga got a chick caged up in the basement. That was her screaming. Cause he was like, if y'all seen this movie, y'all remember when he get up and he say, hold on, do y'all want some more wine? I'll be right back. He was going in the basement to shut her the fuck up. She was in there the whole time. He was cut. He been cutting chicks up since like 1963. He been cut. killing off people. Cut, cut, cut literally. Like, literally, he got a torture chamber in his basement. He strings these women up and he get biblical with them. Like a whore who dresses in lipstick shall be a cow and be bludgeoned and stuff. It was like little pa per, uh, passages like that. And come to find out, his father was doing the same thing. And so he just picked up after him. But the nephew that's doing this is the sister of the, ch of the, grand of the chick that's missing that he want them to investigate. And then when Daniel Craig, stu uh, well, excuse me, James Bond stumbles on to uh, the dude doing all this killing, he's like, so is this what you did to your sister? And he was like, the fuck you mean? The fuck, what you know something about my sister? What the fuck, what the fuck you know? So... He don't even know what's happening this whole time. Yeah, and so like, you know, of course, Daniel Craig, before he stumbled on this, been finding out a whole bunch of stuff, interviewing family members and stuff. He even had to fly to London to talk to one of the cousins and stuff like that. You know, all kind of shit to just get the, the pick up where they had left off with investigators and try to figure this thing out, right? Mm -hmm. You ready for this mind fuck? The cousin he went talk to in London about it. It was her the whole time. She was the granddaughter. What happened was her father had been raping her this whole time. And then she wound up killing him in the, on the docks. She whacked him with like the uh, paddle and then killed him. And, but the, nep the, the uh, old boy's nephew saw it. Then he start raping her. Literally, he just took his dad's place. And so when she had a chance and they was having this huge ass event, this accident happened on a bridge that you got across to get onto the island. Uh, the cousin put her in a trunk, snuck her off the island, but the cousin that snuck her off, her and her husband died in a car accident. And so she took her identity and had been living in London ever since. Yeah. And then he reunited her with her, with her grandpa because uh, old boy had died. Like, oh girl, the chick, she was like, can I have permission to kill him now? He was like, yep. Boy, she hopped on that motorcycle, started flaming that motherfucker down that wood and that uh, Range Rover. Nigga, she hit the nigga with that John McClane. Bop, bop. That motherfucking tire flipped off, crashed into uh, the gas station. That shit blew up. By the way, all that shit was CGI too. The whole crash, everything was fake. CGI. This is some, when did this come out? This came out. Well, there's, this, this version came out, I want to say like 2010 ish, but there's another version of. Uh, Previous to this, that's a whole set because there's the girl with the dragon tattoo, the girl that kicks the hornet's nest, and what's the third one? Um, 
remember. Some, I think the girl that can breathe fire or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. there's three of them, and it's worse than this one. Like, this is the PG version. The other versions they first came out with, all of them scenes is way worse. But yeah, this is the girl with the dragon tattoo. I would watch it. I'm, I'm going to tap in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because I feel like I'm missing out on something. Everybody's like, um, hell yeah, I see it. Of course I've seen that shit. This was the cover. <laughs> this was the cover of the DVD. Damn. Man, I, I can't <laughs> tell you how hot I was at Walmart right. when I got this. I drove all the way back up and said, yo, if you don't get this bootleg bullshit out of here. Right, they was out of real, control for that. Bro, they was like, no, this this is how the movie comes. Like they literally had to crack another one open for me to see it. And I was like, yeah, that's you watch the movie, you get it though. Yeah. And then I looked uh, at it and I was like, this is genius. I'm doing this to somebody so they'd be as angry as I was. But you rocking with it or not? Yeah. Especially with that, that little extra oomph. It was like, you know, they gave you the blank C D with the hand. Is that, is that handwritten? Yep, it's handwritten. Like you even got the, the that like where it comes off like, bro, on the like G. Double. Yeah, like where you can see like where the the, the uh, markers start kind of fading yeah, when they write. It's on there. Yeah, it was a dope one. So I'm glad we got a decision. That was two out of three. Two out of three movies. I I, I got to prove Herm. You on the fence about the associate, but you like black women. You gonna watch it. You gonna you you gonna watch yeah. it. One of your your women gonna be like, let's watch it. Let's celebrate. All right, we're going to do it. True Beverly Hills, get it out of here, man. It's just, it was a no problem. I'm sorry, Shelly Long. You just didn't say it. But uh, that's been another edition of Pharaoh's Vault. I would like to thank my guests, Herman, DZ, Alex. Thank you so much for joining me. I have to get y'all on some more of these. Um, these are just like some testers that we're going to do. I am going to start actually also after this first season, have y'all come on with a movie and pitch. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, something from your library and you pitched to us, but we're going to work out all those details. So um, just make sure that y'all continue to follow and support. Um, as y'all always see at the, ooh, excuse me. As y'all always see at the end of my videos, you will always see each of my guests' social handles, cash apps. Please support them in any way that you can. You know this pandemic is going on and stuff like that. Them or whatever you need, Harm, is, is whatever you I didn't want. I know you put my cash app on this job. Yeah, man. Like, like look, because oh, it's like, no, no, because it's like, yo, I, I know I know I can pay to have y'all on all day, but I'm like, even like the stuff I do, if I can at least have something support y'all from watching this and somebody send something for y'all time being on here, that's the least I can do for y'all giving y'all at least an hour of y'all time to me. So I just always appreciate when y'all come on here. So, oh, um, I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, of course. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure that y'all check out uh, Pharaoh's Vault, Stray Out of a Comic Book, and all these three dope pieces of content. Just follow them. Just do all the shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And we will catch you next time.